Good morning, I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last. You can find Nature Bats Last at GuyMcPherson.com. Please go there upon watching this video, upon seeing it released, and you will be able to find half a dozen papers that provide the evidentiary support for what I'm talking about today. What am I talking about today? The collapse of everything. The collapse of everything. The collapse of habitat for life on Earth. Is that enough for you? That's a lot. Everything turns out to be quite a lot. All right, first we'll start with an old paper, this from June 15th, 2021, in the peer-reviewed journal Nature Communications. Significant underestimation of radiative forcing by aerosol cloud interactions derived from satellite-based methods. Take-home message is previous efforts to identify the level of aerosol masking have been underestimates, and instead there will be a 55% additional increase in heating as a result of a loss of aerosol masking. So reducing industrial activity causes, paradoxically, global average temperature to skyrocket in a very short period of time, 133% increase over land. That's enormous, and I'd be surprised if any land-based organisms were capable of surviving such an event. And certainly by the time you tack on all the other things that go along with it, including the uncontrolled meltdown of nuclear power facilities, for example, then you're talking about the loss of all life on Earth. So, if you've been paying attention to the people who tell you we just need to reduce industrial activity or we need to get rid of industrial activity because that'll solve our problems, wrong, wrong, and wrong. They're headed in the exact wrong direction. They have everything backwards, so stop paying attention to them right now. All right, second paper, I'm going to go in chronological order here. This one from September 28th, 2021 in CNN Business. The title tells the whole story. Jamie Dimon says J.P. Morgan has begun to prepare for potential U.S. default. Now, I think within the last few days, there's been significant progress made on avoiding a U.S. default. So I'm not nearly as concerned about this particular issue as I was when that story first came out. This, however, is something meritorious. Again from CNN Business, by headline, the workers who keep global supply chains moving are warning of a system collapse. This from September 29th, 2021. And here's the story in two short paragraphs. Global supply chains are beginning to buckle as two years worth of strain on transport workers takes their toll. That's a direct quote. And another quote, all transport sectors are also seeing a shortage of workers and expect more to leave as a result of the poor treatment millions have faced during the pandemic putting the supply chain under greater threat. So this is a big deal. If there's not a bunch of stuff showing up at the docks, if there's not a whole lot of people out there contributing to economic activity, then we are in real trouble. This is, this is interesting that I find myself saying this because I'm the one who left active service as a full professor at the age of 49 to go live off grid and reduce my industrial activity. This was before I found out about the aerosol masking effect. All right, fast forward a couple of days to October 1st, 2021, by headline again at CNN Business, why October 19th could be a catastrophic day for the U.S. economy. Wow, right there around mid-October, sounds like serious stuff is happening. And actually, Janet Yellen warns that lawmakers need to fix the forthcoming default by October 18th, plus or minus a couple of days, or we're going to be in real trouble. This story also quotes Jamie Dimon again. He has warned a default would cause, quote, a cascading catast catastrophe of unbelievable proportions and damage America for a hundred years. And trust me, if it damages America for a hundred years, there's no more America to be worried about at the end of that hundred years. From one of these big name financial guys, this on October 2nd, 2021, at Yahoo Finance, Kaiyosaki says, quote, biggest crash in world history, end quote, hits in October. Three ways to protect yourself. And 
Kiyosaki is referring to the looming default of Evergrande, the second largest property owner in China, which is on the verge of default right now. In fact, here's a tweet that Kiyosaki put out. China's Evergrande group cannot pay. Valuation of properties fake. Will real estate crash spread to U.S.? Yes. He also told Kitco News on Wednesday last that this is going to be the biggest crash in world history. That's a direct quote. The biggest crash in world history. As a finance guy, he surely knows about tulip mania when the tulip market in Holland went from thousands of dollars per tulip to a crash within a few weeks of tulips being completely worthless. More than 99% loss of value in a very short period of time. So he surely knows about that. If he's talking about a bigger crash than that one, hold on to your socks, folks. And finally, from October 7th, again, CNN Business, the headline reads, a global energy crisis is coming. There's no quick fix. I thought when I read this that it must be referring to peak oil, but in fact, it's referring to peak gas. Natural gas is suddenly becoming largely unavailable throughout the world, and that's having significant problems. If there's a spike in natural gas, as anticipated by this article, then that could cause all kinds of profound after-on effects that lead to a collapse of all things. Collapse of all things sounds bad because it's bad. That's enough bad news for today. At the edge of extinction, only love remains.